Hello, this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. Let's get started. I'm going to all my supplies here. I'm going to be using the tailored tag punch to do the fishtail on the sentiment. memento black ink here. I'm using this embossing folder from Wintry 3D embossing folders. I'm using the Christmas trimmings dies. The only stamp I'm using is this Thanks from Ornate Thanks. <clears throat> I have a three quarter inch piece of old olive to stamp my sentiment on. And this is about three and a half inches, so I'll have to trim it a little bit. This is two by five and one quarter inches. And I've embossed the this with that embossing folder. Then I have a two and one quarter by five and a half inch piece of black. And a, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of the Tidings of Christmas designer series paper. And I have a, a vanilla card base, uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. Let's put these two aside for now. But get down. Go on. Okay. Then <clears throat> this is uh, from the tasteful labels dies. And there's these two little circles, and I put them together and cut them at the same time, and I can't got this little wreath thing. All the rest of the dies came out of um, <clears throat> the uh, Christmas trimmings. Okay, so this little one here, I cut three times out of gold foil paper. This one here, I cut one out of cherry cobbler. I have a gold bow out of cording. Um, I cut six pairs of this darker, yeah, um, which is <clears throat> mossy meadow cardstock. And then I cut four pairs, one, two, three, four, of um, the old olive. And these are the same, they're just slightly different, which works out well because then you can nestle them closely together when you're cutting them out. It makes it much faster. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, well, let's do this and get this out of the way. I'm going to take my piece of designer series paper and I wanted the stripes to be going this way. Make sure my card is going the right direction. I'm going to hear this to the front of my card. Bit no. Go on, buddy. Go on. Go find your mousy. Where's your mousy? Okay, so that's the front of the card. Put that aside. We're going to mount this piece that I ran through the embossing folder onto my black strip. No. No. Don't chew on that, please. Thank you. Where's your mousey? I gave you two of them this morning. What did you do with them? And then I'm going to center this up on here and... Uh, it's the same width. Or side to side is the same, just it's going to have the border on um, top and bottom. You can't see that because of there. There you go. Okay. And that's going to go a little bit lower on this side here. And again, I'm going to use the wet glue. So there's probably about an inch from the bottom. Okay, we'll 
I'll set that aside. Now I'm going to bring in this piece. I'm not going to be using the center piece from it. That you can save for something else. And I'm going to bring in all these little pieces. I'm going to start by gluing down these gold pieces. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. one right there and I'm gonna get another one you know what I'm gonna use a glue dot I think that's what I used anyway roll it up stick it on the back here and then yeah. put one here so there's the three gold pieces and I'm going to pause you a minute so I can go put my kitten away he's chewing on my lamp sorry about that but it's very hard to concentrate when he's chewing on everything in sight he must be teething okay now I'm bringing these leaves, and those I did use glue dots on. I just put a glue dot on the back of each one of them. On a uh, good portion of them. Three. Let's do four of this one. A couple of the lighter ones. here. Okay, so now I just started laying out the leaves. And there's a, I don't know if you can see, there's a longer end. I wanted that to be like towards the front. So I put one here. Put the glue dot on the wrong end of this one, but Basically, um, I just put a couple dark ones and a light one. Move my way around the wreath, adding these some of them I stuck underneath. And some of them I stuck on top. time for the rest of them. You can crunch them or crinkle them to get a little dimension in them. Sorry, I'm concentrating here, I'm not talking. It doesn't really matter if you get any glue on the back, that's 
showing on the back because it's going to go on the card and you'll never see it. <clears throat> Couple more. This way. And the rest will go on the back. here. Tuck it in under there. Put a dark one there. Another dark one here. Okay. Need a light one over there, so oops, wrong way. Light one over here under that gold. Okay, now I need some to go around the back to fill it out a little bit. So I'm going to put them on the top side, the glue dots. And then they're going to go along the back to fill in a little bit on the back. Oops, there's a glue dot over there. I felt it. One more. One more. Okay. So, let's see. I think I need one over here. Some of them will have to go on the inside. Wherever you think you're going to need them, just fill that wreath out so that it looks nice and full for you. You might need to add a few more leaves or take a few away. However you want to make it. One more light one. Right there, I think. Okay. Now I've got this piece, and I need to bring in my snips. And we're going to snip it in a few places. We're going to do bunches of threes. So I'm going to take this top one and clip that one off. So see, it's got a bunch of three. Then I'm going to clip off this next one. off this one. Okay, and then I've got two single ones and I'm just going to clip those off. The single ones I'm going to glue on individually without a stem. So just clip that stem off. Okay. So now I'm going to take these and this is just easier to use wet glue for, put a little bit of glue on the back. And I'm going to find a spot and I'm going to tuck this in where the stem isn't going to show. If you need to make the stem shorter, you can do that. here. Okay. Now I could add these little ones and I think I'm going to use this to do it. Let's see, let's add one right here. I'm going to 
with the other one. Maybe I'll just add it right with the, that same area. Okay, then I'm going to bring in my bow that I made. And I made it uh, beforehand because this ribbon comes apart. This, this is not Stampin' Up, but I didn't have the Stampin' Up yet. And I didn't want to fumble on camera trying to tie it. Let's put my bow here, I think. Okay. Although, I think I want it to be the other way around. Let's turn that over. Like that, I think. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and uh, assemble the rest of this card. Alright, take it off and start again. Got it all twisted up and gnarled up. See if I can fix it. So here I'm fumbling on camera anyway. <laughs> oh well. Put those down. Get a glue dot. in. This is going to go on the back here. I'm going to add a few dimensionals and I'm actually going to use bits of backing of edging. to go over here like this. I gotta trim that. That's bugging me. Okay. Now for the sentiment. Let's bring in this piece here. I got the thanks stamp from um, the Ornate Thanks. I'm going to stamp it about a half an inch from this end. card I just made with you. Here's the one I did previously. Each one's going to be a little bit different. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, and paper.